Hello everyone and welcome to AD Search Cleanings. I am Dr. Gunjan Desai and today we are going to start a new short series on the topic gastrointestinal stromal tumor. Very commonly seen in practice these days and very important for exams as well. So what we are going to do is we have divided it into three parts. The first part we are going to discuss the origin of the tumors, the common sites, very basic topics about gastrointestinal stromal tumor or GIST. And then we will see the most important part of this uh, series, that is the genetics, okay? The mutation, the mutational analysis, and the concepts behind the different treatments of GIST, okay? Then in the next part, we will look at the diagnosis and the surgery. And in the final part, we will look at the medical management and the sequencing of therapies, okay? So that is how we have divided this topic. So, GIST is the most common mesenchymal tumor of the gastrointestinal tract, accounting for 80% of the mesenchymal tumors. However, overall in GI tumors, it accounts for less than 1% of them. It originates from the interstitial shells of CAL, which is ICC, or very commonly asked question. Okay. As far as the location is concerned, stomach is the most common site followed by small intestine and then rectum. So remember this sequence because the reverse of this sequence will be important in prognosis. What that means is stomach has the best prognosis followed by small intestine and then rectum, which has a worse prognosis. So most common site is stomach. Okay, it can also be seen in esophagus and outside GIT, it is known as extra intestinal gist, which can be seen in genitourinary tract, omentum, that is omental gist and urinary bladder. So these are some of the sites where this can be seen. Now coming to genetics, this is one of the most important classifications of this that is molecular classification. Basically two important mutations that you have to remember the KIT mutation and the PDGFRA mutation. When these two are not present then it is KIT and PDGFRA wild type where you can have the SDHB, SDHA, C and D mutations, then BRAF, HRAS, NRAS, okay, and neurofibromatosis one related mutation. All the other mutations that have been detected, FGFR fusions, okay, are also seen in GIST. So in KIT mutation, the most common is exon 11 mutation, very commonly asked question. Okay, and in PDGFRA, the most common is exon 18 mutation, okay, which is seen in stomach mesentery and omentum. Okay, other than that, the KIT and PDGFRA wild type are usually most commonly seen in stomach and small intestine. So, let's see them one by one. CKID mutation is usually gain of function mutation, and CKID mutation is the most common mutation that is seen in GIST. It can have primary mutations or secondary mutations. The primary mutations are seen in exon 9 and 11 and secondary mutations are seen in exon 13, 14 and 17. Exon 11, as we have discussed, is the most common mutation. It is in the juxta membrane domain and accounts for 70% of CKID mutated GIS and exon 9 accounts for 10 to 20%. The other exon mutations are less common. So remember these values, all of these are commonly asked questions. Most common mutation seek it in that most common is exon 11, primary and secondary mutations. Some practical relevance, the mutations in exon 9 and 13 are more aggressive and mutation of exon 11 has better response, progression-free survival and overall survival rates. So exon 11 mutation is a good prognostic factor and it reduces the risk of death or improves the overall survival by 95%. Whereas exon 9 mutation is the strongest adverse prognostic factor, which also is a marker of progression in death. So remember this, exon 11 is most common, strongest good prognostic factor. Exon 9 is worse prognosis, okay, an adverse prognostic factor. Now coming to PDGFRA account for 5 to 10 percent of this exon 12 and exon 18 mutation. Exon 18 PDGFRA is a resistant variant to imatinib that is important to remember. Usually gastric in location, epithelial morphology and indolent clinical course. When it is wild type GIST, it is negative for CKIT and PDGFRA in 9 to 15 percent of cases. 
and in them the most common mutation is SDHB mutation. Okay, this can have familial variants and gastric in location. The other mutations that can be seen are BRAF, neurofibromatosis 1, NTRK and FGFR fusions. Okay, so these are other mutations that can be seen in CKIT and TDGFRA negative gist. Associations with other syndrome, this is associated with neurofibromatosis type 1, Carney's triad. This triad consists of gastric gist, paraganglioma and pulmonary chondroma and Carney's tratechis syndrome which consists of gist and paraganglioma. Commonly asked questions, gist is a hot favorite topic for MCQs to remember these points as well. So in this topic, we have seen the basics and in detail, we have seen the genetics of this, the KIT, PDGFRA and other mutations, Carney's trial and Carney's Stratakis syndrome. So all these points you need to remember. In the upcoming parts, we will see the diagnosis and surgery and the medical therapy and the practical sequencing of these treatments. Thank you.